and trouble is all around them. Jesus is walking with us. Amen. I, I like what David said. David said, yeah, no, I walk through the fire. Shadow of death. I feel no evil for God. All with me. Amen. It's good to know that Jesus is walking with me. Amen. Amen. This morning, if you will, I want you to look with me in the book of Judges, Old Testament. Judges, the seventh chapter. Judges, the seventh. Verses 1 through 7. We just stand that we may reverence the word of God. Deny your prayers this morning. And when you pray with me, eternal God, our Father, she again, Lord. Standing on the word, standing here behind this sacred desk. God, I need your strength and I need your help. You called me for such a time as this. Now, God, you me for your glory. I pray now that the Lord will move out the way. God, and let the people will see you. God, I pray that the Lord will decrease in your increase. Speak, Lord. We need your word. And when we don't hear from you, we don't know what to do. So have your way in this place. Send your word. The word will help us. That your word will make us and shape us. That your word will make us. So have your way, O oh God. And when the Lord said it now, you alone shall receive the glory of God. And this is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Judges 7, verses 1 through 7. And it reads Then Jerubal, who is Gideon, and all the people were with him rose up early and pitched beside the well of Herod, so that the host of the Midianites were on the north side of them, by the hill of Moray in the valley. And the Lord said unto me, The people that are with thee are too many for me to give the Midianites into their hands. Lest Israel haunted themselves against me, saying, My own hand had saved me. Now therefore, go to proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. And there returned of the people twenty. And two thousand, and there remained ten thousand. And the Lord said unto Gideon, The people are yet too many. Bring them down unto the water, and I will try them for thee there. And it shall be that of whom I say unto thee, This shall go with thee, the same shall go with thee. And of whomever I say unto thee, this shall not go with thee, the same shall not go. So he brought down the people into the water. And the Lord said in the gate, Everyone that lapped of the water with his tongue, as a dog lapped, him shall thou set by himself. Likewise, everyone that bowed down upon his knees to drink, and the number of them that lapped, Put in their hands to the mouth. 
were 300 men. But all the rest of the people bowed down upon their knees to great war. And the Lord said unto me, By the 300 men that lap will I save you, and deliver the Midianites into thy hand. And let all the other people go every man unto his place. I want to talk this morning from this talk. Battle tested for the Lord's work. Battle tested for the Lord's work. In the Navy, they have a group of sailors that are called Navy Seals. They are trained for getting things done with just a few men or women who have been battle tested to get the job done. Everybody in the Navy is not prepared to fight the battles they have to fight. In the Army, these men and women are known as Rangers. They are specialized in getting the job done with just a few folks. You're having witness. Uh, in life and in the natural, my brother and sister, our attitude is the more the merrier. But I found out that in the, the big crowds, not everybody is ready for the battle. In the big crowd, you will have some scurry folks. In the big crowd, you will have some selfish folk. Uh, in the big crowd, you will have some weak folk. Uh, you will have some jealous folk. Uh, not everybody that's in the crowd is ready to fight the good fight. Can I get a witness? Uh, Matthew 7, 13, 14, Jesus said it like this. He said, if the key at the street door, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be which go in there. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life. And a few there be that find it. And Jesus said, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. In other words, Christ is looking for some folk that have been battle tested and are committed to doing the will of God. As we look at our text, as we look at our text in the previous chapter, chapter 6, Gideon is called to the service for God at an early age. Uh, the Israelites were under the attack of the Midianites. Uh, they were raiding their crops and stripping their land like locusts. They were stealing their livestock. And the reason being was because Israel had backslid against God, uh, which brought about poverty and slavery and fear of those that was uh, persecuting them. And now the very one whom Israel had once conquered is now their master. My brothers and sisters, when we turn away from God, we wind up in situations like these. Uh, when we turn away from God, we wind up in situations such as we have today. And, and like Gideon, there are many people who are with us, but not everyone is equipped to fight the battle. When we look at the things that have confronted the church in this past year, faith has been shackled by fear. Hope is bound by helplessness. And the things of sin are getting deep. Because some ministries have shut down. 
Some of our people will not return to church. Some people have become comfortable.